today I would like to show you a diesel heater uh, thermostat. Uh, this is uh, made by Burek. Burek, am I saying that correctly? Burek, Burek, Burek. Uh, this is their uh, thermostat that controls a uh, standard Chinese diesel heater. Mine just up there at the moment. Just to, it controls the normal, uh, normal style, well actually, anything with one of these four button remotes that works on the is it a 433 hertz RF frequency? The basic premise of this unit is to be a thermostat and it basically turns your heater on and off. That is its function. It turns it off when it gets above a preset temperature and turns it back on again when it gets below that preset temperature. And you can adjust the amount of degrees uh, beyond and below the temperature into which it will switch on. So I'm going to try and make this one, this video, just a short basic uh, video of showing you this working and then later on if you want I'll show you more detailed setting up things. Now the first thing we'll notice we're in the UK, well more specifically we're in Scotland and this device is in Frankenstein units and they make no sense to me whatsoever. So pressing the up and down buttons at the same time takes you into the settings menu and we're going to go for the first thing I'm going to change is the select units I'm going to go and set it from F to C and then we'll come out of here hopefully come out yay 20 degrees and 56 that's too high so it says it's 20 degrees in here but it's probably not well, actually no it is 20 degrees in here the heater has been on uh, right right so that's me change the uh, temperature format. Now we are going to make this behave like this. This is the one, this is the remote for the CCU here that is plugged in. But I have unplugged the heater at the moment so that we can program it. So I'm going to press the up and down buttons again. We're going to go into, uh, let me try and use my screen and thing and not look through the phone. Uh, clone remote. We're going to press enter. It's going to wait for the on code. So I'm going to press on. On code received, it says waiting for off code, and I'm going to press the off code. Off code received. So this remote and this remote are now the same, which is fine. And then if we go down to RF self-test, uh, no, RF self-test. Testing, test successful. So this unit, obviously you've just seen it can receive and also send, so it knows it just sent its own commands round to itself and it saw its own commands so it works so now we can exit that right on display here swing swing is the number of degrees above and below your set point that the heater will turn on at now it's currently 20 degrees in here and i've got it set to 53 that's a bit probably a bit much so if i set the temperature so we want that the temperature in here is 20 degrees so if i set it to 16 I think 16. Oh, 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 16. Oh no, I need to go up the way. You are, it won't turn on. You're going the wrong way. There, right. So if I set it to 24, it'll tell the heater to come on. Except it's not got the fuse in it. What an idiot. Wait, what do I do with the fuse? Is it one of that one? This fuse. Zzzt. Right, hold on. So every, actually I'm not sure how many every seconds it is, it tells it to be on. I presume it just doesn't do it once. It must do it every, if I change it again, let's go the other way. The other, other way David. So, well, as you can see there where it says heating, so it thinks it's, it's turned the heater on. Oh. So now, it should send the command to go on. And it is. The heater is now on. I have successfully told the heater to turn on using the device. I've set it way too high though. Let's just set it to... Well, 25 is 4 degrees above what is in here at the moment. So it'll still be on. 
And now the heater will go on and heat up. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go and let it do that. Uh, I should have pointed out that the actual on off button is on the side, it's a little teeny tiny switch here. And you switch it, turns it on, turns it on, there you go. And that's it. On off button on the side. Okay, the heater is currently running. And well, what I'm gonna do now is put this uh, thermostat in the heat, the hot air coming out of things so the temperature goes up and it'll show us switching to the off position once we get it warm enough. Can I zoom at the same time here? Warm. Right, where's the hot air stream? Right. I'm in the hot air now. Nope, no, no. My hand's in the hot air. I need this to be in the hot air. That's better. All right, sorry, no. I've set it to 25, so it turns off at 25. And the swing will be four degrees below that. So that's the heater now gone off. It's gone into being, oh, oh, oh. Glow plugs on, heater is off. Zoom back out, zoom back out. So this makes sense. So this controller still works to control here. You still do all your tuning and all your other bits and bobs and set the, uh, you know, your linear hertz or your, uh, well, suppose technically you could use the other hertz and have it change by temperature. This remote still works as well. This still turns it up and, can you even see it turn it, still turns it up and, up and down, etc., and on and off. Literally, as I say, this is just an on and off thermostat. It's not like the afterburner in the background there. It doesn't give you full control of the heater and all the things and all the settings. It's just if you want an alternative to say the afterburner where you only need it to control the heater to turn it on and off. So I had it set to 25 there, turns off at 25 and then the swing is four. So when it gets four degrees below that, which would be 21 degrees, you get to 21 degrees and it'll turn back on again. And that is basically it in a nutshell. So yeah, hopefully this is a fairly short video and I'll make more videos because I need to update the firmware on it because it's got USB ports. You can update this firmware. It's got, this one is the rechargeable battery version obviously because you can see it's not plugged in. Recharge the battery via the USB on the bottom. It's got a little screw holes in the back for hanging it or Velcro or whatever. And I'll leave a link to Burek in a thing. As I say, this is just a simple, nice and simple on and off thermostat for people that want to have like frost protection so in places and well usually it'll be attached to a power supply that's not just a battery you've got actual a battery charger running your battery as well so it all keeps it nice and charged and up and running there is one caveat with this which I will tell you is that when it is charging initially it gets warm which throws off its internal thermostat once the battery's charged and it's running on power, that's fine, it stops generating heat. They are hoping in a future firmware release to be able to compensate for the temperature when it's charging, so you don't have to do anything. But you can simply just uh, be uh, turn it off when it's charging. Right, see where it says thermoactive there, that's it being an on-off thing. If you press and hold the middle button, it becomes heater off and it just stays off and it doesn't do anything, so you would put that on while you were charging and then you can go back to thermoactive when you were using it normally. That's the only uh, thing so far, as it heats up while it's charging, thrown off the thermometer. Any questions, comments, etc, anything like that, leave them down below. I will try my very best to answer them, and as always, thanks for watching.